protection from sadist syndrome the whole world is worried about aids while most are suffering from sadist syndrome we know that what aids stands for yes aids means acquired immune deficiency syndrome in other terms hiv infection these days there are many such viral infections prevailing across the world then what sadist stands for and we should be worried about it stands for stress anxiety depression insanity suicide and mental trauma today two out of every three people suffer from either of these mental illnesses most of the people these days feel that they are three folds overburdened with work and they are on call for 24 by 7 they run from pillar to post to rush their kids from tuitions to tests to tournaments the stress is taking toll of their body mind and health and is taxing and draining their quality of life stress is the trigger that sets the vicious cycle rolling leading to either of these serious consequences in no time if the stress factors not been addressed and arrested let us redefine these illnesses stress stands for s suffering t tiredness r restlessness e exhausted s shortage of energy s shortage of enthusiasm second anxiety a apprehension and agony n nervousness x anxiousness i intolerance t tension of failure y yawning or tiredness depression d dejection despondency distress e exhausted p pessimism r regression e energy starved s suppressed and sorrowful s submissive sensitive i indignity o oppressed and offended n neglected nagging and nervous insanity i infuriated n nonsensical s senile a agitated n nasty i ill minded t thoughtlessness y yellow minded suicide s surrender to fate u ultimate step underestimated self i insecurity c cowardly behavior i injurious mind inadequacy insulted d desperation to finish and e emotional turmoil mental trauma t torture and torment r rejection and regret a assault and attack u ugly and unpleasant m meaningless and mindless a awkward adverse and acidic suicide simply means permanent solution to temporary problems and life simply means 
temporary solution to all permanent problems look in the eye of trouble and face the trouble no trouble of life is worth dying do not make excess and abuse an excuse simply because at end of the day health is wealth health of body and mind is interdependent on each other and loss of either leads to damage to the other stressful jobs often leads to vicious cycle of overindulgence in excess and abuse of certain habits all work no play no recreation long term health neglect and compromised lifestyle more stress we run around throughout the life for trade and meal to fool the tummy and at the far end runs around on the treadmill to pull the tummy arrest the vicious cycle at right time before it is too late chinmaya uvacha said the real men of achievement are people who have the heroism to feel more and more enthusiasm in their work when they face more and more difficulties benjamin franklin has said he that have a trade have an estate he that have calling have a place of profit and honor plowman on his leg is higher than a gentleman been on his knees lives of great men all reminds us that we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us the footprints on the sands time long fellow has said cyrus said the circumstances of others seem good to us while ours seem good to others philander johnson said cheer up the worst is yet to come our own ratan tata has said i would dream of life that goes up always but real life is different ups and downs in life are very important to keep us going because a straight line even in an ecg means we are not alive when dyer has said when i chased after money i never had enough when i got my life on purpose and focus on living of myself and everything that arrived into my life then i was prosperous mary won has said even a stop clock is right twice a day in rigveda it is said a person can achieve everything by being simple and humble William Jones says believe that life is worth living and your belief will create the fact